to have you with me today. Uh, so you, I can show you some of my artwork first before I start. So um, uh, when I was young, like nine years old, I started painting. Now I'm 39, so I start I painting 30 years already. So you can see some of my artwork. See the drawing I did when I was in college. Uh, use a charcoal pencil to draw the real person. So you'll be a good artist if you practice every day, right? Uh, so practice and practice. Uh, so real drawing from uh, life. Uh, I travel, I, each time I carry my sketchbook, so I, everywhere I draw people, I draw things <laughs> I like, you know, I carry, my sketchbook is very important for me. Uh, and I paint oil painting, so these are northern China, like rural area, I, I studied, I lived there for a while with, uh, with the peasants, the people living there, so I draw them, I took photo, when I come back, I, based on my memory, I create the paintings. And, uh, also I use still life, you know, still life, the object you like, you set on the table, you, you draw, I think. So those are just the stuff I collect. No, no. I paint outside Lake Jackson. So this myself, in Lake Jackson. Uh, so I, uh, I've set myself in, inside that nature, right? Uh, you see, uh, Lake Jackson. I paint different times. Sometimes noon time, sometimes early morning. So I use my brush and palette to paint. Uh, so you, uh, you just practice. Uh, so you can see the lily pond, lily pad, right? Uh, all these colors. Uh, so uh, when I was in China, I, I was uh, study uh, with some master, uh, like a master painter. You know. Some they teach me how to paint, use the ink and brush. So I'll show you today how to uh, draw using calligraphy and ink brush to practice. Uh, mm. So like a calligraphy and figure. Uh, so now I teach FMU, so this is my student, I draw, I paint, you know? So that's on my calligraphy, here. Uh, all right, so in the Chinese brush painting, we use bamboo. Mm -hmm. Very soft, right? So it absorbs a lot of water, uh, so it's, uh, uh, you get that texture. Uh, Goat hair brush, yeah, very fun. Uh, some are like a, a wolf hair, like you see this one. Ooh, yeah, wolf hair, right? wolf, wolf hair, yeah, yeah, wolf hair. Yeah, wolf hair. Yeah, yeah. See that? I've seen a little wolf hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that? Yeah, wolf hair brush. Yeah. So these two are completely different. One's white, goat hair brush, absorb a lot of water, so that's you add for color. So this one's for ink. You can use this one, this gives you a really nice texture, right? Real hard. Uh, you can draw lines and stuff. So these are bigger brush. I also have some smaller brush, like this one. Tiny, tiny. Yeah. See that? Wow. Uh, that one I use for a line joint. So when you mix a little bit of water, this becomes a really nice, fine pointed brush. See that? Is you it draw from an animal? Yeah, animal wolf. This is the wolf one. You see that? The brown color one? Uh, so this is sh smaller size. So I have different size of brushes, so you can use a fine line joint. Okay? Uh, when you when you paint outside, you roll the brush inside this this bamboo, kind of like a, a roller, like a curtain. Uh, you, you roll it so you won't lose your brush. You carry them uh, around and you tie them with your roller. You know, uh, so that's how it works. Uh, and then I have a, a paper. Uh, paper. You see the paper I use? Uh, it's called a shun paper. It's in the southern China. Have you seen the movie Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So the, the bamboo grows. You see them. So they're where they made this paper. It's from nature. Uh, it's beautiful plants, right? You make it 100% handmade paper, not machine made. So it's very fragile and soft. Under the light, you can see the cotton piece in there, right? Uh, so very nice. So when you splash ink and color, it'll give you a nice surface. Uh, it's called the Xuan paper, uh, X-U-A-N, Xuan paper. When you paint, you cover a felt underneath. This is like a gold hair felt. So it's absorbed extra ink from the paper. You couldn't really directly practice on the table. It's hard, right? So you have the, the felt underneath. So that's the, the basic materials. We have the painting, tiny <coughs> brush painting color. Uh, this color is similar to watercolor. It's kind of uh, transparent. Uh, don't touch this paper. Yeah. So you see the uh, the color, special like a turquoise green, uh, turquoise blue, you know? So all of this nice color is from nature, like a special plants or, or the earth, the mud, like the brown color, you know? So all of these are nature, are from nature. Right. And uh, you have the, uh, each artist finished their work, they have a, they sign their name, they use a, a chop, like a chop, like your name, they curve their name on there, and then you add it as, as to the symbol. Like a, each artist have their own name, curve, it's different. So I have so many different ones I use. So this, so you see the colors, and so on. So this is one of my, okay? Now, so I'll show you the calligraphy. When you hold the brush, five finger like this, uh, thumb towards yourself, second one outside, third one outside, last two inside. So your energy comes from body to the tip part of the brush. You can draw along like that. Uh, when you sit, it's low. You, you can hold this, give your mark. The, the finger will be ended here. It's not too low. It's too low, the ink will get on the finger, right? So a little bit higher. 
if you stand up, if you practice like the master, you, you, you stand, you hold higher, not beyond here, so that you are, so you can stand here. Okay? Uh, so I think beginner, you sit is fine. But calligraphy, you, you write you write things on the paper, you know, uh, you dip a little bit of water, mix with your ink, right? Uh, for example, if I write uh, like a, a cursive kind of style, I can write this, you know, like, see? Uh, so th see the movement of that brush push down and up to create dots, lines, right? Uh, so, okay, you see, this is like a, your spirit is free and uh, travel among the universe, and then you find, uh, like artists, you, you find your own creativity there. So, Jing Wu, Ba Ji, Ba Ji is like a universe. Hearts who find the freedom. You see, from the beginning to the end, that's the whole sentence I wrote. Uh, so for each stroke have a relation, right? Uh, see the white space, very important. Then I write my name. Uh, when you finish calligraphy, you sign the, the time, the year, or when you create it, your artist's name at the end. So this year is like, a, I think, a year of snake, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's the... Then you add a stem like this. I put a magazine under this. So Luna, like this. You see? Luna and snake, right? Uh, so that's the art. At the beginning of the piece, you can add another one. For example, I have another symbol I can add. For example, a rabbit. Uh, there's a small rabbit. Top, you can use the oval shape or the circle one that represents the heaven. The, the, the bottom use the square that represents the earth, right? Uh, so see here the rabbit one. Yeah, the cloth and the rabbit in the middle. All right. So now <coughs> I finish on calligraphy. You see how I create a piece of calligraphy? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's uh, the, the kind of like a Xing style. That's a well. That's a quilt. Quick study, uh, you can see the movement of the lines. Uh, that's how I like. Now I show you how to write love in Chinese. Uh, you see the character on that paper? Love, uh, the first, uh, so I'll show you how to write that one. We'll practice that one, okay? Uh, so look very carefully. Uh, so when we, we start practice calligraphy, let's cut this, uh, let me cut this paper. So, over here. Uh, this is the paper weight. Uh, Sometimes the paper curve, you use this one. Cover, right? uh, so, when you write in Chinese, uh, you need to really have enough ink and water mixed together. See that? Uh, not too much water. If too much water, it will smear. So, you can try it on paper towel. Always try on your paper towel. Like this. See? Too much water, smear. So, absorb the extra. Right? Uh, so, now I think it's good. <coughs> when you write, use the paper, treat it as. Uh, <coughs> A composition. So you have heaven, the earth, so have more space, not right on top there, you know? So leave some white space. Uh, love, the first character, each stroke looks like a natural object from nature. Uh, a leaf, bamboo leaves, a, a rock uh, from nature, right? A branch from a tree. Uh, and you, you use your tip part of your brush. Uh, you see how I use it? Uh, Control the line. It creates those shapes. Uh, oh. This is the heart. Uh, and then, uh, the 
brush lift, you create that corner. Okay. Ah. The last stroke, you push down. Gradually lift. Okay. Yeah. See that? No. When you reverse your paper, it's supposed to be the same color. That will be a good character. If like a quick, lighter color, that's not good. Okay? Got it? Uh, so, love. Uh, let's write the English. L O V E. Now you go to your spot. Should you sp sit sit down? And I'll show you how we can practice. Okay? Uh, uh, very quiet. No talking. Uh, uh, no talking. Uh, slow. Uh, <coughs> one brush. Pick up like this. Uh, five fingers. Show me how you hold your brush. Like, uh, follow me here. Uh, first finger, the thumb towards yourself in the middle. Second one, outside. Okay? Uh, only two fingers now. Show me. Okay, good. Third finger outside. Last two inside against the middle. Very good. Uh, so now you can move around, right? Uh, hold a little bit lower, not too high. Uh, about an inch uh, to the bottom. That's good. Very tight. Your finger not move. You just hold it tight. And then your, your energy will get into the tip part of the brush. Dip a little water now in the, in the cup. A little bit of water. Make sure your brush really pointed like what I have, like this. Uh, Deep a little bit in the water. Uh, remember the water, uh, water container next to you. A little bit of water. Make make sure your your brush like this. Uh, okay. Mix with your ink on the plate. You see your white plate. You have ink on there, right? So now start mix a little bit of ink over here. Okay. Uh, use the edge of the plate if you need to make the brush pointed like this. Okay. See? Looking for me. Uh, look here. See? Uh, so make sure your brush like this. Very good. Once you're ready. All right, let's read love, the first character. Uh, you, you, you're you not supposed to do the paper towel. Paper towel is always on your right hand side, and then you use the brush over here. And you absorb it over here. Okay, good. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and start. Uh, follow me. Uh, love, the first character, first stroke. Uh, you write two characters, remember? You can use paper like this way. Uh, or oh, if you're using longer vertical way, that's okay, but try to make sure we write two characters. Uh, next one, next dot. Uh, follow me here, straight, uh, hold your brush really straight, remember, five finger. Uh, dip more ink if you need in your brush. Continue next stroke. Uh, next dot, so I'm on my fourth stroke. Very good. Make sure your brush straight, not tilted, uh, straight. Uh, and then do next dot. Follow me there. Uh, too much water. Use paper towel, dump it. If you have a smear a lot, you use the paper towel, dump like this. Okay? See? Okay. Very good. Next choke, uh, the horizontal one. No talking, uh, concentrate. Your energy get into the choke. See here? That's a hook. Uh, make it back. Left hand always put on your paper like this. So you're right, if you're right handed, uh, you, you can hold the paper like this. Very good. Keep going. Uh, move to the next choke. Uh, if you're ready, your next stroke, remember the heart in the middle? This is the heart section. Dot, a dot, another hook going up, two dots, middle, and one dot, another dot outside. And that's heart, that's the second heart. Uh, in Chinese, that means heart. Uh, use your heart, love other people. So, next section, I uh, continue. Uh, balance all the strokes, uh, not tilted, uh, try to Make it balanced. Um, another stroke. Continue. Uh, look, look at this stroke. Right. Next one. Last one. Very good. When you finish, you start English. Uh, L O V E. Enter that character. You write English. Uh, L O V E. Good. I uh, finish it. Write English. When you finish, you come back to my table. Put your brush on the paper towel next to you, like this. Uh, put your brush over there. All right, everyone, hurry up. When you finish, come back. I'll show you another character. Uh, 
Okay, next char two character I'll show you one in, at once. Uh, so you need to really pay attention. First one, the love. Some of you have too much ink in your brush, right? So it's smeared. So now, remember how you use a paper towel. Paper towel is very important. See here, absorb it. You have too much water, okay? Uh, if, until you feel, oh, it's not too much. Uh, all right, if too dry, keep adding more ink. Uh, so next one, we'll write two characters. Uh, one is for harmony, another one for peace. Uh, so let me show you how I write it. Harmony. You feel harmony. I'm going to write this balance. Each stroke get into the paper. Some of you write too fast. See here? Slow. Uh, you see, reverse it, same color. Add it? Add energy into it. That's how we practice calligraphy. Uh, you, you have soft brush, but you add a hard line. See that? You see the center? I have a tree. See that line? That's the energy. Get into it. See that? You control. You control your brush. Uh, Instead of your brush control you. See here? Gradually lift, lift, you add that corner. Uh, and continue next dot. Uh, and then I think I need a little bit more ink. A lot of ink. Okay. So the next section, this character have two sections. So the other one is like this. Kind of like a square. Harmony. H A R. Last one, peace. Oh, look at this. Leave some space on top and the bottom. Remember? Uh, not tilted. Some of you writing like this. No. In the center. Okay? Uh, peace. Uh, okay, so next one. Two dot, one dot, another dot. Longer horizontal stroke. Push down. Move. Cross right, back, uh, use more ink. The last one, really long, straight. Gradually lift your brush, make that sharp, kind of like end. See that? Gradually in there. Uh, so peace, P E A C E. Right? Uh, when you finish, you write your name, remember? Oh, hi. Right. Lou, and my name is Lou. So you write slow. Uh, and okay, when you finish, you add that stamp, remember? That one? Uh, you put it in magazine underneath. Uh, so you add that here. Okay. Uh, now get back to your spot. We practice the last two characters. Next. This time, you, you use, if you still have space, you can use the same page. That's fine. If you need an extra page, ask your teacher. The teacher will give you a new page. Uh, but I think you still have space. You can write on, on the this. Okay? Uh, uh, harmony. Uh, look at the, the, the harmony, the stroke. Uh, and if you need a new page, the teacher can give you one. Second one, uh, remember, feel your energy get into the line. Uh, concentrate. Third one, keep going. You control the line. Gradually lift your brush. Make that sharp ending, right? Hey, a few streaks, uh, each line really controlled. Uh, dot. Good. Uh, keep adding more ink. If you all the ink, you brush. Uh, add more ink. Uh, the next section will be the square. Remember, vertical stroke. Next one. Lean back. Last one. So how many? Uh, it's more simple than love, right? Uh, and the vertical stroke a little bit longer. Uh, when you add this vertical stroke, try to make it really longer. section, don't forget this square, this red section uh, over here, uh, that's for the harmony. Right, English underneath H-A-R, M-O-N-Y. Good. Uh, when you 
finished that one, we started the peas, last one. Yeah, if you need another paper, you just raise your hand, wait, uh, and then we'll get you the next page. Uh. P's. Uh, P-A-C-E. That's last one. Okay? Very good. And you wait, and you just raise your hand and wait, and if you need more paper. Uh, very good. Uh, so when you finish, three characters, you write your name, remember? Uh, find the spot, slow down, write your uh, English name. Uh, you can write on the side along the edge, that's fine. Uh.